Hi, I'm Perry Smith with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, August 13th. An armed female suspect who barricaded herself in a Castaic mobile home for nearly four hours Wednesday is now in custody. So, I, I don't know. I'm not getting on the ground. I'm going to meet my dad, my mom, and my therapist. Our crisis negotiation team worked with some of her family and friends to build the rapport and was able to safely and peacefully end the situation. The 44-year-old suspect, whose name has not been released, voluntarily exited the back of the home in the 27,700 block of Parker Road around 1.40 p.m., armed with a gun in her waistband. Deputies detained her without incident. The standoff began around 10 a.m. after the suspect reportedly kidnapped a man at gunpoint. The kidnapping victim was a male adult, was a construction worker that was working along the roadside. He allegedly was approached by this 44-year-old female who had a handgun and ultimately forced him into his own vehicle and ordered him to drive her a short distance away. She then exited his vehicle where he was able to then make contact with deputies. He's safe, no injuries, unharmed. Residents in the Lake Hills Estates mobile home park were evacuated as a precaution. No one was injured. As of news time, deputies are still investigating the incident. It's with great sadness that we bring you this next story. Longtime community leader, volunteer, and visionary Connie Warden Roberts died Tuesday in Canyon Country following a months long illness. She was 83. Warden Roberts devoted more than four decades of her life to public service in Santa Clarita and was honored with a ceremonial key to the city at a lifetime of service tribute back in May. She played a key role in the city's formation in the 1980s by single handedly gathering more than 2,000 of the 24,000 signatures needed for a cityhood petition. She served on the city's first planning board commission, the Hart School Board, the Chamber of Commerce, the SCV Transportation Alliance, the League of Women Voters, and more. Nicknamed Santa Clarita's Road Warrior, Connie was influential in securing funding for the Cross Valley Connector, as well as funding for the original clubhouse for the Boys and Girls Club. Warden Roberts was named Woman of the Year three times by California State Legislature, SCV Woman of the Year in 1975, and received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the SCV Press Club. Funeral arrangements are scheduled for August 23rd at Eternal Valley. Residents interested in volunteering for one of the many City of Santa Clarita events or programs are invited to view an orientation video now available online. The short video explains the simple steps you need to take to register and sign up. It also gives you a glimpse of what you can expect from volunteer experience with the city. The orientation video is available on SantaClaritaCityBriefs.com. Santa Clarita Valley students are going back to school this week, so district officials are offering tips to parents and students who are new to the area or its public schools. Newhall School District officials suggest parents walk to school with their children to avoid traffic if possible. Safe Routes, the city's infrastructure program, is focused on making walking or biking to school easier for families. The program includes restriping crosswalks, improving sidewalks, and creating more visible signage. COC is offering students more classes than ever before this fall. The upcoming semester coincides with the college's 45th anniversary. Nearly 1,700 class sections in a wide range of subjects are available. More than 50,000 students are expected to enroll in classes at the college's campuses in Valencia and Canyon Country. Registration for the semester, which begins August 25th, is now underway. Turning to weather, highs reached into the upper 80s in Santa Clarita on Wednesday. Overnight lows will drop into the low 60s tonight. Hot weather is expected as we wrap up the work week and head into the weekend. Daytime highs in the mid-90s are in store for Thursday through Sunday in the Santa Clarita Valley. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Perry Smith.